Hey everybody, this is uh, Steve from Bullshit, and uh, I'm real sorry that I have to do a picture one again. Uh, actually, my camera broke. Anyway, I won't tell you about all my problems. You guys tune into Bullshit every week to hear about some of the most magical things that you could possibly hear with the most bullshit behind them. Now here, I'm this week I'm here to tell you about Disneyland. Now, Disneyland is one of the most magical places on Earth and have brought happiness to children. And we all know who it was created by. It's created by this guy. His name is Walter Disney. Now, Disney, Mr. Disney here was uh, very famous for creating a child's icon. Uh, you know, it goes by the little name of Mickey Mouse. Now, look at this guy. Happy, go lucky, having a good time. What most people don't know is there was two versions of Mickey Mouse before this one actually came out. This one, horrific in nature, with a knife and axe, was shut down by the Parents Association of America. Uh, now this one, very popular in the gay sailor community, because of the scruffy beard, and you know, it just looks really butch, and, and you know, they really kind of dug that. I know what you guys are sitting here thinking, this is fucking bullshit. How could you talk about Walt Disney? I mean, the guy was a hero. I mean, everyone loves Walt Disney. Well, let me tell you some things that you didn't know about Walter Disney. Walter Disney is, you know, most famous for, you know, his crowning achievement is creating these, these, you know, theme parks, you know, Disneyland. I mean, look at the castle. Can't you, you can't down the castle. It looks beautiful. It's a beautiful place to stay. Uh, I, it's a beautiful land. But did you know that it was all built and run by children? Slave labor? Can you believe it? These are all orphans that he kidnapped and, and put into work. I mean, Basically, they came into the park with promises of good times. Look at this little guy, having a great time. Next thing he knew, poor little Timmy was put to work, chained up, you know, mashing the bread that, so they could sell the hamburgers at $19 a piece. Just so me and you can enjoy the Disneyland that we think we know and love. Well, let me tell you, that little statue there where he's holding the, kid, the Mickey Mouse hands used to be a child's hand. And this is uh, Walt Disney when he was very young. Uh, you know, this is him where he would purchase Asian slave families. Uh, and the first of which was the, the kimono. See here, here's a picture of them. That's the kimonos. And all those children were put to work running on the running wheels to power the electrical equipment that was building Disneyland. Now here's a recent picture of uh, slave children that the Disney company enslaved. And, uh, you know, they were put to work. You know, I mean, you have little Bobby, Susiette. Raphael there, uh, and you know they stayed there their entire lives. In fact, here's a uh, here's a picture of them grown up, still working. Now they were custodian Disneyland, you know, or they'll work for the you know concession stands. Now here is a very very rare picture. See this? Okay. Now that's her body out in the real world, and that's her soul trapped in that black and white world. And you see her real body's out there selling dresses, you know, disguised as an innocent daughter or child. But uh, she actually grew up into prostitution, forced to wear this dress and sleep with men that had fantasies of Cinderella. Now recently, Disney figured out it's easier to build robotic children to do the work than to slave labor or purchase children. Or in fact, actually clone their, their, their little dwarves to do the work. But the dwarves, they had a hiccup that they didn't know about. Is they actually grew up into hideously large creatures. I mean, you see, they're so much bigger than they were in the other one. Anyway, this is all fucking bullshit. I made it all up, and uh, I hope you get chopped up by this guy. This is bullshit. Bye.